Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to give you an insight into Trello and how I use it to organize uh, and systemize my business and how you can use the different aspects of Trello to create something that is unique to you and your business. So the first thing is, uh, let's talk about the very basics. Uh, Trello is a free tool to, um, you know, to a, a great level. So what I mean by that is you do not need a paid version unless you want to use, uh, you know, apps and other uh, API connections uh, to the to the tool. So I use the basic version. It's it's a free version and it it does more than enough for my business. So I think if you're looking to get into Trello, you can definitely get started with the free version and then move on to the paid version if needed. So the first thing is the board. So this right here, uh, this entire thing is called a board. You can create a new board by, uh, you know, going here and just creating a board uh, using this sign. You can create a board, you can create a team. So let's create a board and I will just name this uh, demo. And I have multiple teams here, but uh, initially when you're just getting started, you probably will not have a team. You can add a team here. Um, like you can see, I have seven boards remaining under the live stream team and one board remaining under the business automation lab team. That's because again, like I said, it is a free account. So you get 10 free boards per team. Uh, for now, you can just leave it to no team and click on create board. So this uh, new board has been created. It says demo here. You can go ahead and change the background. Uh, you can use a plain color or you can use images. I'm just going to go with the gray for now. And you can also use photos, like I said. You can also add a custom image as a background right here. You can also uh, copy this board if you want to duplicate a board. For example, if you create a Trello board for each day or even for each week, you can have the same uh, lists and cards inside the board and just duplicate the board for the new week. You can link the board. So uh, you may have seen a lot of, uh, you know, uh, Tripwire offers out there where they share their Trello board with you. Now, if you were to share a Trello board with someone, you would have to make sure that it is set to public because if you set it to private, you, no one else will, will be able to uh, actually see the board. So you can set it to public. Right, uh, right now, this uh, board is inside this particular team and that's why it says that it's a team board. You can also invite people to join the board. For example, if you're working for a client, if you need them to invite you to, to a board, you can just, you know, put their email address here and, uh, and get them to invite you. Or if you are working with an outside contractor or you have someone on, on your team that you need to invite to this board, you can add their email address and uh, uh, send them an invite. So Trello will send them an email. The other thing that you can do uh, here is uh, watch what this does is if anyone makes a change on anything uh, on this board, you will get a notification. And uh, settings is basically if you want to, uh, you know, to change permissions here, if you want to change the team, like move this board to a different team, you can do all of those things here. So this is the basics about the board. The next thing are the lists. So lists are basically um, different buckets uh, that you split up your board into. For example, if you're creating a board for the week, uh, one of your lists could be Monday, and then you could have a list for Tuesday and Wednesday and so on. Or if you, uh, you know, do your, uh, uh, create a new Trello board for each day, you could have lists such as to do, in progress, and done, those kind of boards. So Monday, if I have, you know, uh, depending on what uh, my to-dos are for Monday, if I have to write a blog post, that could be a to-do. Maybe I have to go live in Facebook group, that could be a to-do. 
right? So you could list down all your tasks that you need to do on Monday. And if you, you know, there are some times when you have a task on your list, but it does not really get done, you can actually uh, click here and drag it here to Tuesday, which means that you've pushed this task to Tuesday. And similarly to Wednesday, and maybe after all the days, you could have a board that says done. So all the tasks that are done could be dragged there, right? It's simple as that. Um, another thing, if you want to split up your tasks into morning and evening tasks, or you know, morning, afternoon, evening, night, something like that, you could add a card that says morning, and then you could go inside this card and use a label color, so maybe yellow, and then all your tasks that need to be done in the morning could be listed under this morning. So you're just splitting up all your tasks for Monday under different labels. So this card could be afternoon. And you could again add a label here. And then you could add tasks for afternoon. So QA, QA session, uh, create sales page. Etc. So these are your afternoon tasks and these are your morning tasks. And then once they're done, you can just drag them to the done board. So this is another great way to organize your days and your week into a Trello board. So you are always on top of what needs to be done. Another amazing um, thing for, you know, inside of Trello is you could actually assign this task to a member. So you could add a member i don't have any members here but you know you could assign that task to them you could add a due date so you could be like okay this needs to be done by this day at this time and then you could just save it so it has a due date now so when i go out you can see that uh, it, it is assigned to me and it has a due date the other great thing about Trello, which I use a lot, and I've shared a, a bunch of workflows with you under the content system module. Uh, you have some in the launch uh, Tech Genius Kit as well, which is basically creating workflows in the form of checklists. So I will add a checklist here, and I'll just call it checklist. And then what are the different things I need in place to go live in the Facebook group? I need to create an event. I need to create a graphic for the event. I need to create uh, slides to go live. I need to uh, send a reminder, send an email reminder. I need to send a bot reminder. So all of these are different tasks that I need to do in order to get done with this task. So you create a checklist here. And then once you're done with each task, you just come here and just uh, tick, you know, just say that this is done, you check it out, uh, check the task out or <laughs> yeah. And just, uh, and then you also know how much percent of work is done. And then you can add more items, you can hide completed items, to make it easier for you. You can add a cover for this. Uh, so you can add, um, so it gives you an option to upload your own cover or you can also use unsplash.com for covers. I'm just gonna use something from here for now. So I'll just use this and it adds a cover to your board. So you can see that this particular um, this particular card has this cover here. It just makes it more visual. Um, I'll show you one of my boards that I've already shared with you, and I've used a cover for each uh, list just uh, so that you know it is uh, more helpful when someone is going through the Trello board and you know they don't have me around to ask questions, so they can just look at the cover and. Uh, you know, they come to know basically what I'm talking about. Now, uh, write a blog post. I could have, uh, you could also, so if, if there are multiple people on the team, you could add comments here. You could add a checklist and I could say, you know, uh, research keyword, create Pinterest graphic, all of those things, right? 
So you could create a checklist, you could att attach a cover, you could copy this board, you could move this board and you could select where do you want to move it. You can select any other board. So for example, if, uh, you know, if every week you have a different day when you write a blog post, maybe you do it once every two weeks, you, once you're done with this board, you could actually, and you know, you've created a board for, you've created a board for next week or the week after that. You can also move this board or copy it. So you can copy it and you can select a board you want to copy it to this entire uh, list. So for example, if Monday of next week, uh, you want to do the same uh, task on Monday of next week, you can actually copy this board and send it to Monday of next week. Uh, you can copy this uh, list, sorry. You can copy this entire list of write a blog post and send it to a different board so that you don't have to create it again from scratch. And then you can also choose where uh, inside that board, which list you want to add it to and what position it should be. So it makes it very easy to, you know, create something once. For example, the workflows I've shared with you, they're all created once. You can actually copy them and put them in your own weekly boards or daily boards or monthly boards. You don't really need to write everything from scratch again. You can make a template out of it uh, and, you know, use it. So uh, when you create, uh, so this is a template card, right? So um, every time you create a new card, it will ask you if you want to use the template card. So that way, again, you don't have to start everything from scratch. You can just move things around. So um, these are the basic things that I wanted to share just to make it easy for you to plan out your days and weeks. And every time you sit down and create a 30 day, 60 day or 90 day plan, you can actually transform that plan into just goals and you know action steps to actually your Trello board so that every action is noted down in these uh, lists and cards so that all you have to do is come back here, look at what you need to do and get it done. It, ba it basically removes the thinking part out of this entire process, which makes it less overwhelming and easier to follow through. I will just show you the launch board, uh, the minimal, yeah, this is the one. So like you can see, I've added, uh, covers images to each uh, kind of list just to make it easier. And then uh, you can also attach images. So for example, you can just go inside the card, call it demo, add card, and then you can go inside and you can, I would, you can add an attachment uh, from the computer anywhere right so i could just go and attach something right here and it would appear here of course but it would also appear here as you can see i'm just going to delete this for now archive and then again i've attached the workbook here so this is a workflow with a checklist uh, again you know you can Go here, you already have this board. You can go into copy and then select your own board here to put it into. Uh, and then you could also select the list you want to put, put this card into so that you have everything uh, created for you and you don't need to create it from scratch. Uh, again, you can change uh, the privacy here. You can use a team to add this board into. You can invite people. And you can go under menu and add stickers. It shows all the activity that happened on this board. You can make it a template. You can copy this entire board itself. You can label this board. And OK, you can create labels here. So uh, you can say that this is Monday or this is Let's say Monday. So you've created a label here. So when I go into the checklist here, I can use that Monday label here. And this will show show up here as, 
as the color so i know that everything that is green on this board needs to be done on a monday i'm just going to remove this for now uh um, yep so that's it if you have any questions feel free to post them in the group uh i'll probably be adding a lot more trello templates i have started moving uh, to click up because it's a more uh, sophisticated tool but when you're just getting started with project management i think trello is a great place to start because it's easy and it also helps you understand the different aspects of uh, organization and project management so i hope this helps and i